Hi there, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be looking at a brand new app called Rooms and this one is brought to you by Facebook. Now before you go running off out of the room screaming that you don't want to touch Facebook then just listen out. This is actually a cool app and you don't even need to sign into your Facebook account. In fact you don't even need to create an account. All you need to do is put a nickname in which is really cool. Now, when you first launch the app, it will tell you to take a screenshot of a room you want to join. And it's like a QR code, like this. And so what you do is take a screenshot and then automatically rooms will recognise that you've chose to be in a certain room. So it'll create that room for you. But I'll show you in more detail about how to do that in a minute. So this, these two rooms here are ones that are there and created for when you first start. So recommended rooms by the Rooms app people. And then Rooms tips. And if you go in there, you can see some tips that they've said out to actually get invites and stuff and you can go down and if you want to you can like them and you can choose your own like button so as you can see they've got a war button instead and it likes it and if you want to as well you can comment you just press the comment tab and you can go down and comment now there's also a recommended rooms and I'll just show you how to join one so I can give you an example I've already joined the gifts one or gifs whatever you want to call it so say if I wanted to join live music fuels the soul all you do is screenshot that QR code like so, and then come out of it, and because I've already launched the app, it will recognise that I've done screenshotted it, and screenshotted it, is that a word? And then it will create that room, and then there's a new room there. And then it'll load all the different posts in that room, and that is how you get a room, or how you actually join a room. You have to get the QR code first of all. You just screenshot it, and then when you launch Rooms app, it will automatically add that room to your list. If you want to come away from it, you just press that, leave room and you can leave the room just like that. So these are the ones that I've joined at the moment. So I've made my own which is all about iOS games because surprise surprise I like my games. I've got eight members at the moment and if you want to join um, on Twitter I think I posted my QR code or you can, I've, I can post it on Facebook as well. But this is basically a room to share all my favourite games and you can do different posts of your favourite games. So that's a really cool one. Then um, TV show addicts, that's for TV shows that I joined. Then I joined a gifts one, which I haven't been in yet, to so look at different ones. It tells you how it works and what to do. You can leave a little pinned message if you create a room. I'll show you how to create a room in a moment. It's a bit slow at loading. We'll come back to that one. Then the, another one that I joined was this is tech, I Justine's room, and noms from above, which is really good. This is all different food pictures and stuff. And you can like it again, they have nom as their like button like that, which I thought was really cool. And you can just scroll down and see all the different posts. So that is how you join a room, you just screenshot the QR code and it'll automatically open it for you. If you wanted to use an invite, you press use invite and then you can either screenshot it there and then or you can find it on your camera roll if you've already taken it. But as I say, once you've launched the app already and you screenshot a code, when you open it, it automatically recognises that you've got it in your camera roll and it'll load it up for you. If you want to create a room, just press create room. And this is where the fun begins. So you can name your room. So say if you wanted it about chocolate, because why not? And it could be chocolate picks, for example. I'm not going to keep this one, don't worry. And then you could put a description about it. So everything chocolate. And press done. And then you can choose your wallpaper. You can choose the wallpaper from your camera, but I couldn't get that bit working. And then you can choose what colour you want it as well. So we'll have it brownie colour. Then you're good to go. And then here. And these are the settings. You've got post approval where members post directly to room. And if you want approval, you just turn it on. If it got to be 18s only, turn it on. And post in this room are discoverable via search. Now, I have noticed there isn't actually a search feature yet. So my name on here is JJ. So create it. And that's when you create your nickname. You just put JJ. And that's all. You, the only time you have to create a username. And you can change it for each room. Every room you join or create, you can have a different nickname if you wanted to. And then you just go in and you do your post. And to do a post, you just press that plus button. And you can either write something and it'll be on that different coloured board. Or you can text something from your camera, like a video or a picture, and then just post it. It's that easy. And that's how you'd create a room. I'm going to actually delete that one because that's a pretty boring room. But it's a fun app and I'm really liking it. As I say, there is no search feature yet, so it's really hard to find different rooms to join though at the moment. So I, hopefully they'll add a search feature to that. But um, at the moment it's just a case of if a friend mentions that they've got 
uh, invite to a different room you can join it that way and you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram you just can't search it in the app which seems a bit strange but these are all the different settings you can add your email address if you want to in case you ever delete the app so it remembers all your I think posts or something but I haven't bothered adding my email but it's a fun app, it's something different it's like the old style chat rooms where you're all anonymous apart from a nickname and it's just different really and I'm quite enjoying looking around and seeing if I can use it I don't know how much how often I'd use it as I say, about a search feature it seems really hard to find different rooms to join but give it a try, it's free see what you think and then let me know in the comments below thanks for watching, bye for now